A publisher wants to estimate the mean length of time in minutes all adults spend reading newspapers. To determine this estimate, the publisher takes a random sample of 15 people. Now that's a, that's a small sample size. So um, because it's less than 30, I'm hoping that they're going to mention that the population is normally distributed. Okay, um, and obtain the results below. From past studies, the publisher assumes, oh, population standard deviation is 1.8 minutes and that's the population of time is normally distributed because of this part this very last part that i highlighted that small size sample of 15 is fine okay so open up stat crunch and you notice that they just gave us the population standard deviation is um 1.8 right so let me log in real quick when you have population standard deviation, you are going to use Z stat. Okay, so go to stat, Z stat, one sample, and click on summary. Because so they gave you a summary of everything. So once this is open, I better go back and find that problem. Um, actually, you know what? I'm sorry. It's not summary. They gave us a list of numbers. So let me try again. I'm going to click on this button and then uh, click on open in stat crunch so that I don't have to enter 15 numbers myself. Okay, so click on stat, Z stat, one sample, and click on with data. This time they gave us the data, and then tell them that the, the, the column, um, that the data are in bar one, variable one, and type in the standard deviation of what they gave us, 1.8, okay? And that's it, um, we're just making a 90% confidence interval, it looks like, so change that to 0.90 and compute it, and the confidence hey, interval, yeah. no hold on confidence interval is from 8.5 to 10.0 8.5 to 10.0 that oh, whoopsies 10.0 my mistake all right next they wanted 99 percent uh, percent confidence interval so all i need to do is just go back and change that confidence level to 99 and the numbers come out to be uh from 8.1 minutes to 10.5 minutes now we can see that the 99 percent confidence interval is wider right this is this is wider it stretches from far below and it stretches out to a higher number than the 90 percent confidence interval so you tell them 99 percent confidence interval is wider and um the, the bigger the confidence level is is the confidence interval will be wider, but that's how you will do this problem.